They had to talk him into it a little bit. So they're like, oh, King Darius, live forever. Oh, King Darius, you're the only one to be worshipped. Oh, King Darius, you're the best king. Darius, live forever. Oh, King Darius, you're the only one to be worshipped. Oh, King Darius, you're the best. I feel flattered and ignorant. Of course I'll sign this. Like, totally falls for it. He's like, oh, I'm so flattered and I'm so ignorant. Of course I'll sign this. So when Daniel hears about this, he goes home and he's actually going to pray. The cool thing about this though is that Daniel had no fear when he did this. He did the same routine he always did when he confronted God. He would go up the stairs up to the second floor, wherever it was. He would open the windows and pray for all to see. said that nobody could pray or praise or worship any other god except for King Darius for 30 days. And if somebody did, they'd be thrown to the lion's den. And can you guess who was watching him pray? Yep, the haters. running to King Darius and they're crying out that David does not respect him. David pays no attention to him and his laws. Depressed. He loved Daniel and cared for Daniel so much that he did not want to throw him in the lion's den. At this point, nothing could be changed. King Darius had to go with what the decree said, and Daniel had to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel was thrown 
to the lion's den, King Darius went back to his home and he fasted because he was worried about Daniel so much. Evan Blake, you... And at the break of dawn the next morning, King Darius got up and he went straight to the lion's den to go see if Daniel was okay. And what do you know, Daniel was. Daniel then told King Darius that God sent angels to close the mouths of the lions. Daniel, what happened? God sent angels to close the mouths of the lions. After King Darius heard this, he was convinced that God was really God Almighty. And so he passed a decree that said that everybody, every tongue, every nation, everybody in the world um, had to fear the God of Daniel. And since the haters were hating so much, King Darius knew that there had to be a punishment for them. So in turn, they threw them in the lion's den. While the haters were being thrown in, they were like, Nah, we were just kidding. No, save us. Oh, come on, bro. Don't be like that. words. He said, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Haters gonna hate. That's not even running.